Much I, look, like- I actually use alter egos. So that's one thing I'm big on. Um, I don't know if you've heard much about alter egos. And I, stuff, I know the concept, but what do you mean? So there's a book called The Alter Ego Effect. Great book. But okay. essentially, like, I, you create this, like, different version of yourself in your own mind. Yeah. And you use that person to overcome hardship. So, like, exercise. So, like, um, for example, James Lawrence, the guy who did the triathlons, right? He has one called The Iron Cowboy. Okay. But it's, like, referring to yourself as a different self. So, like, mine, for some, I don't know how it got there, but it's now being called The Phlegm, which is my <laughs> just, like, grown up. That's where I've kind of, I've kind of built that up and... Yeah. He's the type of guy that just can do hard shit. Okay. And, like, he can dig deep. He yeah. doesn't get crushed. Yeah. So, like, use, like, using that makes you feel a bit invincible. Right. So, I'm talking to Ethan Fleming now. You're talking to Ethan Fleming. But the Flem, who he comes out. <laughs> he will fuck you up. Yeah. And even my, it's become a bit of a thing with my friends. Like, I, you know, they'll be like, can't wait to see the Flem come out on this. Right. Song. Like, it's just, yeah, so it's become like an alter ego. How long have you had this for? <laughs> it's probably, it's probably um, I don't know, three or four years. I think it's a really useful tool. Interesting. I don't. It just works. It just works. I wonder. People have it for everything as well. For like for school. For well, so we have different faces, different masks for when well, we step into different environments, that's, right? That's, yeah, that's different alter ego. Right. Yeah. You just give it a name. Yeah. And then you can step into it though. Yeah. If you give it a name, it's like you can become it. Quicker. Yeah. You can just chuck it. Just I can jump into that one when I need to. And when he comes out, I get it like an endorphin rush. Like it's yeah. actually like a bit of like DID. <laughs> DID. No, like this, this uh, disassociation disorder. I think it's like split personality. Okay, so you yeah. disassociate from your actual like. Yeah, because my actual character. self is suffering. Yeah, but Flem, he's like he doesn't. he doesn't suffer. He embraces that shit. <sighs> yeah. So then it's like this is interesting. Yeah, that's why like second wind. I think it's alter ego. Like my alter ego brings out my second wind. That mm-hmm. I can create. I can physical. I. This is what's so crazy. Like I can go into my psychology. To change my physiological state, mm-hmm. so I can I can actually I feel like I'm so in tune with it that I can create my alter ego, bring out my alter ego, and then get an endorphin rush. So like I can create my own endorphin rush. That's amazing, which is pretty full on. Mm. Yeah, and I think that's practice. I don't know what that is. Like that's that's practice from training, but I feel like I know how to create it. I think some people can get that from really powerful music. You get this. Um Hyper secretion of, of noradrenaline, adrenaline, dopamine, mm. where it blunts pain. Mm. Yeah, mine comes out through alter ego. Yeah. Yeah, so like the phlegm. And even that, that feeling there gets me... Do you talk to yourself? All the time. Out loud or in your head? All the time out loud. Because I'll go out loud too. All the time, daily, every day, flat out. But it's not always hype. It's sometimes, it's, no, it's what just, is it? Man, I talk to myself all the time. Mm. Yeah. Physically out loud. I feel like it's a bit of a meditation, a bit like a self-reflection check, check yourself. Yeah, Stay on the right path. Thinking. How often do we think? We don't think enough. Right. Because we're always preoccupied. Yeah. That might sound talking. weird to people, right? But no, you're right. Yeah. Everything we do is in like a, just a repetitive state of reaction rather than thinking. And even communicating. Mm. When's the last time you sat down for two hours and talked someone eye to eye like this? Yeah. Which is nice. It is. Yeah. That's like probably you- the most socialized in like last year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just been pulling Jeeps yeah. and lifting weights. Yeah, it's um, we we need to have time to ourselves because we find ourselves when we're by ourselves. Um, we find ourselves when we're by ourselves. Yeah, I like things that sound nice because things that sound nice are glued Remember. to your brain. Yeah, put that on a t-shirt. Yeah, 